Work zone safety is important to me because I like to see my guys go home safe every day, as well as myself, and protect the public that's around us. We've had a crew working out on Rayford Road, signs set up, and plenty of flashing lights, and car comes through, barrels right through the traffic control, and strikes the excavator. And we had guys that was actually working there. If it wasn't for the excavator being there, they, somebody possibly, possibly could have got hurt or killed. Basically, if, if we come out, get set up, and, and start our work, and you'll have folks that live in the neighborhood that's, like you said, too much impatient, that really don't want to go the long way so instead of going the long way, they, just, they would cut through folks' yards instead of just turning around. And so we have to try to block the streets, you know, if we can, best we can. We have a five-man crew, including myself. I have Blake, which is my senior, and he does most of the operating. And then I have... Um, Marcus, Joseph, and David, which they pretty much, you know, spread the asphalt, uh, do the cleanup, sweeping, and operate the trucks, haul the asphalt. So if we're working in the main road, we have to set up, depending on what the speed limit is of the street, it determines the spacing of the signs that are put out in your cones. And basically, we just kind of follow that unless we're just working off the main road and we're working in a neighborhood It's just basically set up signs, get cones out. If the one lane in the street, we um, cone it off one side so traffic will know. The, um, basically, we let the traffic um, kind of flag itself because we're not there that long. Uh, you could expect to see a work zone in basically a neighborhood like this one or a construction site where brand new construction is being added. The public can help us stay safe by staying off their phones while they're driving. Um, it also helps if they don't try to stop you know, make sudden stops in front of a truck hauling a tractor and also pay attention while they're driving. And that would help us a whole lot. If folks just, you know, respect our traffic control and help us keep our work zone safe, you know, and stay out of our work zone if they don't have to enter it. And that would help us a whole lot. I'd like to ask folks to be patient you know, and be kind, and that would help us, and you know, it would go a long ways. Yeah, we would like to say thank you to all the folks that do recognize the work that we're doing, and then decides to turn around and go the other direction until we're done, so, and that really helps us out, helps us out a lot, so, yep, and say so thank you.